Find the derivative using the limit definition of f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 5. In this video, I will discuss how to find the derivative of this function using the limit definition. To begin, let's talk about what the limit definition of a derivative is. It provides a way to find a derivative of any function and the derivative of f of x is equal to, by this definition, the limit as h approaches 0 of the quotient f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. This definition can be used to find the derivative of any differentiable function. We'll use it to find the derivative of this f of x. Let's begin. The first step to find this derivative with the limit definition is to substitute the values in our function into the limit definition. So the limit definition is a quotient. In the denominator is a single factor of h, and the numerator includes two terms, f of x plus h and f of x. The first term in the numerator, f of x plus h, will require us to substitute for every occurrence of x in our function, x plus h. So that means the first term of the original function x squared will become x plus h squared when evaluating f of x plus h. The second term in the original function is minus 3x, so the next term in the limit definition will be minus 3, not times x, but times x plus h. The third term, plus 5, does not include a factor of x, so that is unchanged when writing down f of x plus h. So the three terms that you see on the screen now are the result of evaluating f of x plus h for x squared minus 3x plus 5. Again, all I've done is substituted x plus h for every occurrence of x, or in this case, for the two occurrences of x. Then the limit definition has a minus sign, and after the minus sign comes f of x. So all that I'll do here is include a minus sign and then copy down x squared minus 3x plus 5 unchanged. I'm going to write it in parentheses, though, because it comes after a minus sign, which will have to be distributed on the next step. Now, most of the work in evaluating this derivative using the limit definition comes during the algebra. That comes next. I'm going to have to evaluate f x plus h squared. I'm going to distribute a negative 3 and distribute a negative. That result is here. I got this result by first taking x plus h to the second power. x plus h to the second power is x plus h times x plus h and multiplying that out. That product, the result of that product is three terms, x squared, plus 2xh plus h squared. Then distributing the negative 3 yields negative 3x minus 3h. The plus 5 remained unchanged. And then I distributed a negative, got negative x squared plus 3x and minus 5. The next step will be to combine all of the like terms in this numerator. This numerator actually has nine terms. And I do have uh, three pairs of like terms, and actually all three pairs are going to add up to zero. x squared minus x squared. I have a term of minus 3x and a term of plus 3x, a term of positive 5 and a term of minus 5. All three of those pairs of terms, all three of those pairs of like terms, are going to add up to zero and will thus be eliminated from the problem. The x squareds are eliminated, the 3x eliminated, the two terms of 5 and minus 5 are eliminated, leaving you with just the limit as h approaches zero of 2xh, the h squared, and the minus 3h term. Now notice that all three terms include a factor of h. So the next thing I'll do is factor that h out to the front. That yields the limit as h approaches 0 of h times the quantity of, if you take an h out of all three terms, 2x plus h minus 3 all over h. 
And at this point, these factors of H are going to be able to be eliminated. They'll divide away to be 1, which leaves you with just the limit as H approaches 0 of 2X plus H minus 3. And now for the first time, this limit can be evaluated by direct substitution. You can evaluate this limit by substituting a 0 for H, and we'll have our derivative. Substituting a 0 for H is 2X plus 0 minus 3, which of course is 2X minus 3, which is the derivative of F of X. We have successfully found the derivative of F of X using the limit definition. The derivative of f of x equals 2x minus 3.